<laughs> All right, so what's going on, Jamers? And welcome back to uh, Paper Lily, Chapter One. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so we're back doing this again. I'm still a little peeved and trying to figure out how to uh, break the other seals. It's not the easiest thing in the world, but I could try. So don't forget to hit that like button, also subscribe, so we can reach 40 subscribers. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get through this now. Boop. Small pool. The water looks clean. Oh, that's right. I was trying to figure out how to break the other seals, right? A bookshelf full of books about painting. One of them stands out. Read the passage? I'm uh, sure. Should a merchant not be available in your region, it is always possible to create your own painting of paint. Create your own paint by mixing pigments with water. Oh. Hmm. I think that's a hint. I think that might be a hint. I have to get pig. And I forget she's probably still wandering around, right? Probably. I don't know. So I'm not fully sure what to do now. Uh, <laughs> hmm. I don't know why I've decided to talk to you. Maybe it's because you look really pitiful. You're so worthless that no matter what tests they put you through you fail them all if i had just left you alone that day you wouldn't be wasting all of our time you wouldn't be wasting our own time here tomorrow glenn will discontinue your tests you better thank me. I'm the one who told him to. I'm just sick of seeing you. How is that important? I don't know. Okay, so I read all this already. Okay, let's read it this one. I don't think you should be testing on her anymore. Her power holds potential. I wish to entertain this idea a little longer. She is she's incapable of any sort of coherent thought. We are just wasting souls on her. The 36th experiment has fallen as well. I'm telling you, she's practically just a used tissue. Useless, useless demon. We're wasting our time. Calm down. I can't work when you're so noisy. noisy. Go play with your doll, other dolls. Maybe I will. Are you upset? No, of course not. You look like you're deep in thought. 
You are the one who did this to her, after all. Glenn, back off. <laughs> Fun. Correct? You're getting yourself into a messy situation. I'll be fine. Oh. Okay. Hmm. No? So what do I do with it now? Do I have to give it to her? Oh, okay. It's not that important. It should be easy to scrape it off. Collect it as long as you can. One more, yeah, the yellow one. Okay, I got all the pigments. So that's what I was supposed to do when I got the jars, and I totally messed that up. Oh, the second floor, so this one right here, yeah. Paint. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay. Yellow paint. Red paint. Interesting. Okay. What do I do with it now? Um. painting. Okay. With your masterpiece complete, the canvas turns into a sketchbook. Oh, okay. Alright, more story time. Here we go. The second blessing came as a gift. I always met Iris out by the river and we sat and talked for hours. So I told... She told me all about the thing I couldn't see. But it... was different now. She spoke with such happiness and excitement. I couldn't take my eyes off her. So to celebrate this miracle, I got you something. What? For me? Of course. Your eyes work now. It's amazing. We have to celebrate. So I stole this from my family. But shh. Don't tell. What? Iris, a, a sketchbook and paints are so expensive. How? Why? You always said you wanted to paint. I believe in you. I'm so excited to see what you come with. You'll come up with. I couldn't believe it. My own sketchbook and watercolors. There were so many things I could paint. Mother was always bedridden, so I made a habit of showing her my paintings. I started with trees and objects. But I took a liking to portraits of people. 
They all have such distant, beautiful faces. After only two days, I had already made eight portraits. Wow, that's... damn. But when I flip to the next page, a different kind of portrait filled the brown paper. It was all painted in black, and it was twisted and scary. I hadn't painted this. I didn't even know who this person or creature was. Every, every morning after that, I found new distorted portraits in these pages. But I never remembered painting them. Interesting. Alright, so now I gotta figure out how to open this one. Here it is. Oh, the knife. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Obtained a human foot. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm, I guess I'm basically uncovering the witch's story. But the fourth blessing was something I should never wish for. Give it back. How'd you get your hands on such an expensive looking sketchbook, huh? Let's see. Stop. Just give it to me. What the heck is this? They flipped through the they flipped through the pages of my sketchbook, and their faces got an awful ghostly white. Is she a witch? What are those? I didn't draw that. Hey, I didn't know you were... You were a witch. I'm not! Pages are pages of creepy drawings. What is this? Some kind of cursed casting shit? I didn't make them. I don't know where they came from. It's the truth. Why didn't they believe me? Stop! What are you doing? You're just a filthy witch. I'm reporting you. You won't be needing this. Please, don't break it! You don't even need all of these colors. Nothing but black. You were never supposed to see anything but darkness anyway. Blind freak. Please, stop. Give them back. Aw, poor little crybaby. I'm going to report you. Father will be so proud. I caught my own witch. I'm not a witch. I swear I'm not. No. No, don't, please. Stop, please, stop. Please stop. What did I do to you? Please stop. I hate them. I hate my life. Why is this happening to me? Soon enough. Soon enough the boy... Soon enough the boy... Dropped the sketchbook. My eyes were focused on the... Crumpled... Crumpled pages of my sketchbook. Hitting the ground so I didn't see it until someone's... 
screen. Uh, sorry, that was terrible. <laughs> the boy's right the boy's right leg twisted almost three hundred and sixty degrees as if it was some form of nightmare switchcraft. Then it twisted again. Something broke his leg and he fell down writhing, writhing in pain. I couldn't understand what I was seeing. You? What did you do to his leg? N nothing. I, I didn't even touch him. Uh, it hurts. Oh, someone. We need help. Help. You're a witch. You're a witch. I will destroy you. You'll be burned. Burn in hell. The adults came and took him away. But I finally... Lifted my gaze from the dirt below my fingers, Iris was standing in front of me. My heart sank. Did she see what happened? Are you alright? I... I... You didn't do that to his leg, right? No. Of course I didn't. Okay. I... I... Why are you here? Um, I came because my parents said... That I'm not allowed to see you anymore. Wow. That one got dark. <laughs> All right, let's see about this one. I still don't... Sealed. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out how to unseal it. Okay, leave me alone. No, not... Okay. All right, I'm still trying to figure out how to unlock this one. Oh! Wow, I'm an idiot. All right, you stuck the rag into a pool. Tame cold compress. Cool. I guess. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of that to do that, but freaking water. I had it the whole time. Two episodes, too. Alright, let's see about what's this one about. One, two. Uh, excuse me. Alright, which one is this? My mother got worse one day. Father thinks she might die. I don't want mom to die. I brought her a cold compress to lower her fever. Mother always said that water provides the best healing. That night, I said a prayer to try to help her. I wished for her to get better. And I wished for our family to get back to normal at last. The third blessing. Okay. The third blessing came as a surprise to everyone in the village. That morning after my prayer, my mother was out of bed and cooking. She said she felt much better. She even had strength to go to the market. You see, the cold compress did the job. Clean water is the purest thing to have. Are you sure you should be out of bed? This is a this is the best I've felt in years. But the doctor said I'm sure he was just wrong. 
you know, medicine isn't always entirely accurate. Well, she's not wrong. No matter than, no more than two days later, some adults knocked on the door. They took my mother. They called her a witch. They claimed she used her powers to get cursed of a deadly illness. Cured of a deadly illness. Sorry. Cured. They said the village needs to be cleansed and that witch hunts and that witch hunts were important to this for this. The next day, my mother was burned at the stake. Oh. Mm, wow. Everyone watched and everyone cheered as she died slowly for a sin she did not commit. This was the first time I wished that I couldn't see anymore. You're done. Good work. Now what? Now all of these objects need to be burned in the correct order. Oh god, okay. <laughs> What's the order? That's for you to figure out. The hands over there might provide a clue. I see. Make sure you have a way to light the fireplace as well. Oh. Oh. That's true. Are there any places I haven't checked yet? Lastly, the whole thing tends to plummet with candles going out. Therefore, if you see any candles, put them out. Understood. Okay. So this is going to be hard because I got to go through every single one now. Uh, that's not good. That is definitely not good. Alright, uh, so... Which one is first? I'll try the magnifying glass, see which one's first. Magnifying glass. First. Okay, so the magnifying glass is first. I gotta write these down. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I don't know what the knife is. The second, okay, so the book, the, the sketchbook is the second one. Sketchbook is the second one, okay. That's the toe. I don't remember what the toe was. Fourth, oh, so the toe is the fourth. So the cloth is the next one. Okay. So what I'm gonna go do is now, I believe the knife is the last one. Because it didn't tell me what, what it was. One, two, three. Yeah, it's five items, right? Yeah. Five blessings. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. I saw you in there. Still not there. Cool. 
Oh, I can open this door now. Do I want to go in there? I think I do. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so here we go. This is the code. Magnifying glass. Oh, no, I had it. Sketchbook. I don't think it's the knife third. It, it was a uh, cloth, right? Gold compress, yeah. Yeah. Uh, fourth one was the foot. Five is the uh, knife. And six. Did I even get a six one? Fire. Oh. Okay. Ooh, a lighter. Oh, thank God. <laughs> stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. All right. Uh, lighter. Yep. Uh, what should I do? The mirror. Sketchbook. Uh, was it the compress? Yeah, it was the compress. Okay. Compress. The foot. Yeah. Foot. And finally, the knife. That should be good now. The solution should break apart now, shouldn't it? Too bad I was starting to like this place. Oh, that's not good. Fire! Lilith, again? How? But how? How? No, 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 no! No more. Die. Okay. Oh, 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 she's really killing me. I did it, apparently. How? Why can't you just go? Every time I try to be... Patient, you ruin everything. Not that hard to dodge. Oh, of course, right when I say that, I die. <laughs> not good at those things, so I'm just not gonna try. <laughs> Skip it, forget it. I can't do it. Not even gonna try. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Mm. No. Oh no, 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 no. No, please. Okay. Which one is this? Oh, ow. That's the fire. That's the last one. Here's the sketchbook. Nope, don't touch me. Nope. Ah, no! Mm. I can't do it. I'm just gonna... Okay, I'll give it one last shot then. <laughs> I messed that up badly. Right, magnifying glass. Don't like unnecessary deaths, it's annoying. Of course. Okay, I don't know how that didn't hit me. Weird. Hmm. 
lagi. <laughs> Oh, okay, well, I'll take the hit then. Oh, you stupid knife. Get over here. Mm, and then I need the fire one. Where's the fire one? I think this is it. Oh, okay, here it is. No, not this again. Oh, come on. Damn it. Okay. Forget it. I'm not even going to try. Ah, forget that. Where am I? Okay. There's a piece of paper on the floor. It's titled Sixth Blessing. Sure. Why wouldn't I run and read it? I was tied up in front of the whole village with Iris. Father gave a speech. It was about bringing forth a new era, about cleansing impurities, about leaving in peace. Peace. I thought I already lived in peace. I thought I could keep living in peace next to Iris. She was in that crowd too. Was she watching? Would she cry for me? I didn't. It didn't matter anymore. I was only a sacrificial pawn in this bigger story. How did Mother feel standing there? Was she relieved to finally be rid of all this injustice? To finally start being at peace? It didn't matter. Mother and father were dead, and now this will be over for me, too. The monster standing before me finished his speech. The crowd was cheering. They seemed to agree with his preach. He lit the firewood, and the... He was slowly embracing me. For a moment, I, it almost felt comforting. But that moment was brief. When the fire reached my legs, the pain became unbearable. The crowd, crowd's cheers were slowly drawing out my own screams. Curse this. Curse this. It hurts. Why must I suffer? This isn't fair. Why won't anyone help me? It hurts so much. I hate them. I hate them. How could they cheer for this? How could they be so cruel? I wish they were all dead. I wish they would all suffer. heard it once in a dream before. Sixth blessing from a curse. Was I cursed? Because at that moment I received my sixth blessing. The fire spread incredibly fast. All in directions, in all directions, and the flames 
that had reached my thighs died out. Instead, the fire spread all around me. Everyone was screaming, terrified. Everyone was burning. What happened? Where's Iris? I used the knife she gave me to cut, to untie myself. It cut easily. I tried walking out, walking, but I couldn't even stand. My legs hurt. They hurt so bad. I looked around, but only saw fire. People were trying to run, but there was no escape. The floor, the houses, everything was on fire. The whole village was covered in a thick smoke. Only The only place the fire didn't reach was the ground I stood on. I can't move, but I need to make sure Iris is okay. Make sure Iris is okay. Why should I? It's all going to hell anyway. I sat on the floor holding the knife. My miracle. This is what came of my miracle. I never asked for this. All of this misfortune. It all started after I got my eyesight back. What are these eyes? I don't recognize them. I don't want them. I never wanted them. Not like this. You can't have them back. You can have them back. Do you hear me? These are not my eyes. I stabbed and stabbed. I was determined to remove them. After all, if I removed them, things would go back to normal. I could do my chores as usual. I could care for mother. I could spend my days with Iris. felt so good. It felt so... relieving. I stumbled until I stopped seeing. I stabbed. <laughs> until I stopped worrying. Until I stopped feeling. Wow. Oh, okay, we're done. Until I stopped moving. I think in my final moments, I laughed. I laughed at how my life turned out. Six blessings from a curse. Six blessings from a curse. Yes, because cursed is the only way I can describe this pathetic life. I can't really save anymore, so that's a problem. This might be the end, too. I don't know. There's no time for me to take a shower, so I'm not even going to try. Oh! So she is the uh, crying child there. Welcome back. How long was I been out? How long have I been out? 14 minutes. That's creepy. You shouldn't watch people sleep. I actually looked around first, I swear. 
the door was right down the, this hall. So you see, we're pretty crazy back there, you know? You must be really good at dodging knives. Thanks. You sure? You sure you're not a demon yourself? No. It was just a joke, you know. So is it a dead end? Yep. I see. Just as Rune said. You sound disappointed. Don't tell me you you're up for more near death experiences. I just I haven't solved anything yet. I didn't find red. I didn't even find the lighthouse. All the things I set out to do. You've got time. You're not dead yet. That was to count for something, right? I guess there's no helping it. Well, I can't really like leave until I save, so I can't save. Psst. Over here. Oh God, I. You were spider. Good work back there. Didn't think you'd actually do it. Feels good to see this place again. How is this good? You're locked up. I don't need much to be content. My ceiling, my cell neighbor keeps me entertained. Go take a look. Okay. Is that Miss Knives? Is this what she actually looks like? Well, it looks like a used napkin. About Miss Knives. Are you surprised? Well, kind of. She's been... She's seen better days. But she'll be fine. She's just a spider. She's just like a spider. After a little while, she'll make a new web and entangle everyone in it again. I'm curious to see what it will look like next time. Huh? I see. Besides, she does get a visitor every every so often. Really? Yes, an intriguing one by the name of Fred. Don't look so surprised. I'm so excited. Fred won't be back here another time soon. You see, is Red the lighthouse person? Yes. Ah, damn. Interesting. If the lighthouse is what you're searching for, perhaps this is of use to you. Is this a doorknob to the lighthouse? What remains of it? I see. Thank you. I appreciate it. Even if it's broken. I consider our debt settled. Oh, hello, preacher. A dead primal. It's dead. Good riddance.
Oh my god, I just want to say it, please. Oh great, nothing happens. Great, that's wonderful. Let it go. Oh, there's more of them. Another one. That makes two. We killed it. Are you sensing a pattern here? Or is it just me? Really, what happened here? Must be my imagination. Okay. All right, we're back here again. I guess we're ending at the same place from two episodes ago. All right, well, that's all the time I have for today. So don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe so we can reach 40 subscribers. Yeah, that's our new goal. And we're still waiting on that to happen, but you know, whatever. So yeah, I guess on that note, Bye.